Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick review of my new washer and dryer. Um, this is the Samsung, um, I don't even know what this is, Samsung, it's the Super Speed Power Foam Steam VRT Plus, okay, and the matching dryer. I got the pedestals for storage, which I still haven't put anything in there yet, but it's also good because it lifts up the machines enough so I don't have to bend down so much and kill my back. Alright, so I just put a load in. These are the extra large capacity, so I could fit a huge load in there. I don't know if you can even see that, but just to give you an idea, um, it's about half, well, it should have been a full basket, but this was overflowing. It would be about a full basket's worth of laundry. Um, I'm very behind right now, so that's why I have so much. Um, so I just throw it all in there. <clears throat> it has the handy little door for when you forget stuff. I don't really use it, but it came with it, so here it is. But you have all these extra, all these uh, little settings here. Um, I usually just do it on normal. You have heavy duty bedding, white, sanitize, allergen, rinse and spin. Um, this is deep clean, eco wash, quick wash, perm, permanent press, wool, delicate active wear. I really just use the normal, the bedding, and the whites, and that's it. Um, I really don't have a need for the other stuff, but I'm sure one day I'll get to try it. Then over here you have the touch panel for the water temperature. I usually do tap cold. Um, high spin, normal soil level. Um, then you have all these extra things. There's pre-wash, extra rinse, extra spin, and steam. Um, I only use the steam sometimes. I've had this for maybe about a month now, so I'm still getting the hang of it. Uh, I have my cycle, which is where you could save your own little settings. So I just do that. Um, delay end, which is where you can put the wash in the night before, set it to start automatically at a certain time in the morning so you're not, you don't have wet clothes sitting overnight, and then it'll be done for you. Because I, I have a hard time getting down here in the morning to put a load in, so this is a good setting for me. I just have to remember to come down here and switch it. Um, I put my soaps in here. And run. It's very quiet. The noise you hear is actually my furnace. So that's not the machine. The machine is very quiet. Then I have my dryer here, which has, you know, similar uh, display. You have anti-static control, rack dry, mixed load, bell. I don't even know what half the stuff is. Wrinkle prevent. Um, not that one. I, I don't know. I haven't even used any of this stuff yet. The only things I've actually used... Where, okay, so you have your normal, heavy duty, bedding, all the same stuff, okay? The only things I use really are normal, um, wrinkle away is if like, it, it runs it for like 15 or 20 minutes with a little bit of steam. Uh, sanitize, I don't think I've used yet. Refresh, I haven't really used any of this stuff yet. The time dry, yeah, but uh, I, I'm not like a laundry maniac where I do, I separate things a million different ways and use all these different settings and I, I just put it in and I wash it so this is my normal setting um, I keep it on I like it on more dry so I set it to my cycle and it goes to more dry temperature I keep to medium because that does the job and this is for the time dry <coughs> oops what I do okay um, over here you have just the time that's for the time dry eco dry I don't even know what that is and then inside I have a nice big thing in here. Put lots of clothes. It lights up. This one actually lights up too when you open it, which is a, a new feature that I didn't have on my old machine. It's nice to be able to see what's going on in there. Um, so you have that, nice and big. And then the lint catcher is interesting. Let me get this open. So here's the lint catcher. I, I usually empty it out before I put a new load in. So as you can see, it folds, so it kind of holds, I guess it holds more, I don't know. And it just you just pull it right out, it comes out very easily. I only have one hand right now, so I'm not going to do that. And then close it, put it right back in. Very easy, very nice. Here's the storage drawers. 
Very simple. So, like I said, I'm still getting the hang of this uh, because I've only had it for a month. I haven't really had a chance to play with them very much, but so far I give it a big thumbs up. I really enjoy these machines. I love, love the extra capacity. I can do double the amount that I was able to do in the past, which is good. And uh, because, especially because I'm really bad with laundry, I'm always behind. Look, this is all the stuff I have to fold. These are all clean clothes that I have to fold. This is only a few days worth, by the way, because my family of six, we build up laundry very quickly. And I took a few days off from washing, so that's why I'm doing that now. And yeah, I need a nice laundry room that's better organized. So these are my machines. I hope you like this. If you have any questions, please put a comment below and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video guys. Thanks for watching.